Hashtag no judging, but I'm not sure how to pronounce this beautiful color by Benjamin Moore. Is it mascarpone, mascarpone? You tell me in the comments below. This is the color review that I'm doing today here on my YouTube channel. Make sure you stick around. I'm Claire Jefford giving you clarity for your home decor. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell below, and you'll be notified every time I publish a new video. Whites are still super, super popular, but what if you don't wanna have a bold, crisp white, something like a Chantilly lace or Snowfall white in your home, you want something a little warmer, you might wanna to look to Mascarpone because this is a creamy white. It's beautiful, soft, and uh, yeah, I think it would make a great alternative to some of those bright whites that we're seeing if you wanted something that's a little bit softer on the eyes. As always, we need to compare colors, especially with these whites, because they can be so tricky if you look at them in isolation. So have a look here on the end, we've got cloud white, and cloud white is generally a white that is more creamy. But when you compare it to an actual cream, like mascarpone here in the middle, then you can see that the cloud white looks quite a bit whiter. And then we've got ivory white here closest to me, and that even looks a little more dull and a little more creamy than the mascarpone. So be very careful when you're looking at whites, they are not all created equal. So you can tell that as you look at these three very different whites here. But which white is going to be the best color to pair with your trim or your ceiling color, or maybe your cabinetry with mascarpone? Let's take a look here. Now, even though I'm not actually a fan of mixing creams and whites, I know that sometimes it is necessary, but just so you know, sometimes you could actually keep the same color on your trim or on your cabinetry because it's gonna look a little bit different because it's a different application. It's gonna be a different paint finish. So just keep that in mind, but I do have three here for you anyway. The first one is the brightest one. It's Chantilly Lace. The next white option that you could use to pair with mascarpone is Snowfall White OC118. Not quite as bright as the Chantilly Lace, but still a bright white compared to this next one I'm gonna show you. This one here is Oxford White. We did actually do a whole kitchen in Oxford White. If you wanna check in my portfolio, I will add links below. But you can see they're calling this a true white. It's a little more on the bluish side as well, if you can notice that, but it does look lovely with mascarpone. There are a lot of different colors that you could use, a lot of different whites. But like I said, sometimes maybe don't complicate it and just use the same if the color is so creamy and that it's nearly white and you could maybe use it. So just keep that in mind. Before we get to my color pairings, I wanna show you that I have these essential color guides, and this is basically a lot of the information that I'm sharing here today with even more colors that you could pair. I'm gonna show you a beautiful color palette in just a minute, but these are digital downloads. So I've printed mine, but they're digital downloads. You can get them instantly, get your hands on them. I've got over 30 colors to choose from on my website. There are links below if you wanna get your hands on this specific essential color guide or any in my color collections. Make sure you go take a look showing you here a soft, pretty color palette. I'm gonna show you a couple of fabrics in a minute too and how you can switch it up with just a couple different colors. But here we've got mascarpone on the end as well as sea haze, which is a green. I've done a client's living room in this color. I'll add links below, you can check that out. As well as Beacon Hill Damask, that's HC2 by Benjamin Moore, a beautiful soft yellow, and gray mist, which is a green gray. Let me show you here two different looks with two different fabrics, very similar colors. Here we go. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this soft, beautiful floral fabric that I have here. And you can see the color of gray mist slightly in the flowers, as well as the yellow. Again, it doesn't have to be the exact tones. I'm just giving you some inspiration, some ideas. You've got gray of the sea haze, which is in a little bit of the darker colors, as well as the mascarpone, which is a beautiful backdrop. And so that is one option. You could mix it with reds, oranges, and greens. Or you can go a little more with the turquoise and blues with this color combination. So you can see again, we've got the yellow, we've got a little bit of the gray, the mascarpone just tied in here really beautifully. So you could go either way. So if you're feeling blue, then this might be the way you wanna go or as the other one that you saw a little more fresh. So don't get tied either to thinking that these have to be painted for the walls. These could be accents in your home, in your living room, in your dining room, in your kitchen, but look how gorgeous it looks overall. 
All right, I wanna hear from you. Tell me which fabric do you prefer? It doesn't have to be your favorite. Like I tell my kids with their dinner, it doesn't have to be your favorite. But I'm just curious to know, are you more team red orange or are you team blue turquoise? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already got my three free downloads about choosing the right paint color the first time, my Pharaoh and Ball finishes guide, as well as 15 shades of gray and all the undertones revealed, those are Benjamin Moore colors. Check out the links below, and those are instantly downloadable, instantly free, just for you. Don't make mistakes. Get the right advice the first time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and head over to the blog where you can see more color palettes and these fabrics as well, all put together. I hope to see you there. I'm Claire Jefford, giving you color clarity for your next interior design project. I'll see you next time. Cheers.